is the audio. First of all, a very warm welcome and a happy Saturday evening to you guys. This is the start of the stream. Always the, the ricketiest, uh, the ricketiest part. Um, already, already got, got a spy tissue. Uh, is that the, uh, the stream chat? Chat box doesn't seem to be updating. Which 
which is a light and sessionable um, beer, which looks pretty cool. And we've got one which I'll, I'll level with you guys, always honest with you. I'm a little bit nervous about this one um, because it's it's pretty pretty jazzy. Um, it's a a Turkish a Turkish appreciate that style mirrored. It's a Turkish delight stout. So we've actually got a Turkish delight tasting video coming up next month. We're going to be trying it in stout form. Trying it in stout form. And alongside that, um, alongside that, we've got a whole host of triggers as well. Depending on the trigger wheel, I've actually got everything I think for that. So no matter what part throws at us, we're ruddy bloody equipped. But anyway. Space remake really do want to pick that up, but that looks epic. I remember being petrified in the first game. Um, I used to, um, I think, I tell this ad anecdote in the uh, in tomorrow night's video. Actually, um, I used to be incredibly like resource um, scared or conservative in games like Dead Space and Gears of War, so I wouldn't use the really cool weapons. I don't want it to. I would use all the ammo and then not be able to use it, <laughs> which is amusing because you know I ended up not ever using it. So it was in Dead Space, it was the assault rifle that pulls assault rifle, <laughs> and in Gears of War, it was the <clears throat> it was the uh, the Lancer. Hey, Matt Erickson has been a member for one month. That is a cool little feature. Didn't know we could do that. That's well. Shout out to Matt, Halloumi Fries, and uh, um, MKD fan, uh, all the members in the chat. Big thanks uh, for, for being a ruddy bloody member. You've got some very sexy badges, but a uh, big thank you to everyone just for, for being here. I'm really, like I said, I'm really, really excited about tonight's stream. I'm really looking forward to just getting into it, I think, due to my tickly throat. I'm going to crack into a beer a little sooner uh, than I had anticipated. Uh, we've got almost 40 people here so far, which is fantastic. And you know, to be honest, just the fact that there's one of you, so I'm not just sort of speaking into the webcam like a, uh, a lunatic, um, is, it means a lot. But before we do, if you could smash that like button, if we could get to 20 likes and we can crack open that first can and So if you're new, get that like button in. Just tight. Uh, it's a good uh, 
it's in my face. Wait, is one of those a blood orange cider, Ross? Is that a blood orange cider? What? It's a smooth session beer. What have I got a blood orange cider?
would just like to say that it's a very, very jazzy badge that you have next to your name. It suits you immensely. Um, so, a good evening to you, mate, and hope you uh, enjoy the stream. We've cracked into the first, the first beer. It's a mallard, um, which again is French for uh, male duck. Um, not to be confused with bollard, which is a traffic stopping. structure. Perfect, it comes up, so it comes up here, and then 
sorry, for example, it lands on hand sounds. But that's good, I didn't actually have that up and running. It looks like I've got an eye patch, like a roulette wheel eye patch. Arr, it doesn't work, now it's gone. Um, I've not been to a Huddersfield game recently, um, and for good reason, um, because they are ruddy bloody bollocks. Um, very poor game today, lost 2-0. Was not, was not a, uh, was not a good time. But we are almost 21 minutes into the stream. I, the start of these streams just absolutely fly by. Really, really does. Um, so settle in. Like I, said, I think I might go get my my quarters because it's a little bit chilly, and I'm just sort of outright uh, refusing um, to put the the heating on where I can uh, because uh, it's just. Absolute uh, criminal. Um, so, so there is that. Um, but yeah, I hope um, uh, you guys enjoyed the the, uh, the video on Wednesday, uh, which was the uh, the facts the video. And we also did a higher or lower game um, on uh, the members section, which was great fun. It was. I didn't realise though when starting to record it that it was based on um, twenty seventeen search data and search volumes um so a lot of my um guesses had to sort of sort of factor that in um but it, it was really good fun and sunday's video so tomorrow night's video it's sort of it's kind of of a, a similar vein um and i think that's going to be um really uh, good fun as well i really enjoyed doing it um i really quite enjoying that sort of setup Play. I need to do a new Let's Play as well in the um, in the next couple months. Um, actually, no, I think next month. So I'm just trying to think what to do. I kind of want to do. Um, well, obviously you've got next month. You've got a. Oh, what's it called? What's it called? What is it really bloody called? Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy uh, coming out, but then I also really want to do um, in a silly and nice once what, um, and then want to do. Um, I kind of want to do life is not is it not life is strange? Is life is strange the um, the one from um, from the makers of Rick and Morty? Oh, Justin Roiland, uh, he's a nonce, isn't he? Um, so I wonder what they're going to do with the, the TV show now. Um, I think Adult Swim said they were going to continue it. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, if you are wondering, it's a really nice um, pale ale. Um, it's gluten. It's gluten free. Um, so, if you are celiac, you can, uh, you can enjoy. Um, and anyway, cheers to you guys. Um, uh, very warm, warm welcome uh, Saturday night. Um, Stephen, are you a fan of fighting games? Not really played at many fighting games. My experience with them are fairly um, limited. Um, Super Smash Bros. I uh, got a bit of um, sort of experience with from uh, from my youth, uh, from my youthful days, uh, where I would main as Link.
positive feedback on the and the Dead Space game. Apparently that's epic, so that could be worth uh, a real worth um, picking up. Definitely do wanna do wanna pick it up. But is it on? The thing is, they're retailing it for you know full price. Is it a um, is it a fifty? Is it a fifty quid job? Or um, or is it? Um, or they've sort of like released at a, a bit of more of a reasonable, 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 reasonable level. Good evening, Tack. Fantastic to see you, mate. Hope you are doing well, and hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Um, have you played any of the GameCube Mario Party games? Uh, Ryan McKinney, I have indeed played some of the um, the Mario Party games on the GameCube. I played four and five. Uh, I did an old um, an old video on the the channel. Was. So we got 
is a Japanuary, that's a full, uh, a f quite a playful portmanteau of um, Japan and January. Um, and had a, a teriyaki chicken bao bun, which was, yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed indeed, indeed, but, um, but anyway, yeah, how, how was your, how was your weekend going so far, you know, um, any, any wild stories, any meal deals? Uh, quite keen to uh, get any updates on uh, people's meal deal fronts. Um, Natasha Fox, can you wear gloves? Uh, I, I, quite, I use my hands quite a lot um, for some reason when I uh, sort of enunciate. Um, and so if I wore gloves, I feel like they would weigh me down um, and I wouldn't be, um, wouldn't be able to, to move as nimbly as this stream requires. You need to be agile. Steve, I was reading Stephen's comment. Uh, had bow buttons on the brain. Honestly, it was um, it was pretty mental, Stephen. Um, but yeah, big thank you to everyone who has stopped by so far. Just you know, just commenting, getting involved in the chat. It's fantastic. We'll be getting the trigger roulette going later on. It's fantastic to see uh, sort of members as well. Just uh, just lovely having you all here. Um, but in terms of uh, yeah, I got of us wasn't I before went on the one of the the many 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 tangents that occur but yeah watched the the first two um first two episodes of the last of us and enjoyed that immensely um I've been seeing some videos when they've been doing comparisons to the to the game itself and how it's pretty much mirrored which I'm like for like. Um, I think the the casting's been a great choice. Um, uh, the bloke who plays Joel, I've forgotten the actor's name, um, but he's been um, you know, excellent. And um, you know, the girl who plays Ellie, uh, again, brilliant. Um, and really enjoyed it so far. I think they've um, done a, an excellent job at the the world building um, element. For sure, um, Sean. Uh, great to have you here, mate. Uh, Ross, would you advise playing the game first or watching the show first? Um, so I've not actually completed the show. I, um, the show completed the game. I do. No, Pedro Pascal. Yes, thank you, Emma. Emma, with with the save there. Um, I'm just adjusting myself on the chair. Um, I've not completed the game, but I do know what happens on. I don't know how it ends. <laughs> knowing knowing the ending hasn't impacted it for uh, for me personally in terms of being able to enjoy the the show. Uh, I just think it's uh, a rollicking ride and uh, yeah, really really good fun. DXO UK fan, I hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, you, uh, you're never late. You arrived precisely when you meant to. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. That's a, an excellent point. Um, yeah, every uh, oh no, um, I didn't even see those sixty nine mega dot coms. Oh, that appeared. That's mental. So that's that smut in the uh, stream chat. Uh, it's not even come up for me. So apologies for that. It's a Christian stream. Um, not for not for smut like that. But it's not even uh, appearing for me to be able to. Um, likes it. I'm, I'm trying to sort of steer the beers uh, by the sort of the likes. Uh, it was 20 to get the first one. Um, but if you are new, well, please uh, consider don't have to. It's a free country. That's a free internet uh, for now. Um, yeah, tickling that, uh, that like button um, until it sort of giggles to itself and it turns blue. That would be yabba dabba do. Has come out as well, the new Scooby Doo show, Velma. Um, but I've not watched it, um, but I've heard it's um, I've heard it's got some um, differing opinions. Sort of like, um, I don't know, I just I don't actually know what it's about. Do they actually solve any mysteries? Um, is Scooby Doo even in it? Bring back. 
goes blind. Um, I think it's Febreze. I think it is. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm not sort of getting lost on a tangent there. Uh, I'm pretty irrelevant. Um, did you manage to start uh, Overcooked yet? No, not yet. So I have actually played Overcooked. I uh, played it um, sort of a, a couple years ago, a few years ago. Ah, oh, Marta, that'll be it, my friend. Um, that's actually a question for the chat. How many of you use a dark mode uh, on your on your devices? Um, I personally don't for anything, so I'd be really, uh, really curious um, about that. Um, but yeah, I've actually played uh, Overcooked uh, and Overcooked 2. Really enjoyed Overcooked 2. Overcooked 1 was good. But it's kind of like, you know, when you play the sequel to a game and you really enjoy it, so you want to go back to the first one to, to sort of play it. Um, but it's always a bit, yeah, because it's always sort of like the less refined and like the less feature version of your know, the franchise. It happened for me with uh, Mass Effect, so I had Mass Effect 2. That came out, loved it. Thought that was epic. Played Mass Effect 1, and uh, that game has certainly not aged well, and it didn't age well when I played it, I think. Yeah. Mid 2010, 2000. When did Mass Effect 2 came out? I think it came out in 2010, because Mass Effect came out in 07. So, um, um, for real, I prefer not to be flashbanged. <laughs> That's the thing is though, but with the dark mode, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't see it, like, I just, I find the dark mode infuriating, it, like, it, I find it harder to read, uh, sort of the white, uh, white text or the black background, as opposed to the, as opposed to the other ways. Um, let me have a, have a little look, so hey, we're on 42 bloody likes, you, you are lovely, so lovely. Folks, eight of fifty on my creaky, creaky chair. Uh, it's currently quite dark outside. Um, had a lot of fireworks going on recently. Yeah, for, for Chinese New Year, so happy Chinese New Year. Uh, I think it's the year of the rabbit. Um, can't really make a rabbit noise. Um, it's not in my sort of animal sound skill set. Yes, twenty ten for Mass Effect Two. Pulled that out the uh, bag. Result, Luke. Um, you should absolutely. Um, oh, nice. That's interesting. Yes, get on the classics. Well, obviously later this year we've got the Legend of Zelda uh, Tears, uh, Tears for the Kingdom. Um, and really want to, really want to play that with uh, with my missus. I really want to take a free ocarina of time because that's such a um such a nostalgic fundamental game for me um yeah that's got such fantastic ruddy bloody music um big uh big big fan right i'm just gonna go very i'm gonna go very quickly get my quarters in but um so i'll be one second That's annoying. I said it's not going to work now, but I said I don't know what my animal is. Probably a lion because I'm such a chad. But it's not funny now because I've said it mute. Uh, so that's embarrassing. Um, oh, Michael, thank you, mate. Um, 
much appreciated. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, yeah the year of the, uh, the rabbit. I'm not sure what that means. Apart from, well, apart from it being the year of the uh, the rabbit, the microphone is shaking quite a lot. Um, sort of like a rabbit uh, hitting its foot really hard. Like that's why they call it me Dumber. Um, from the It movie. Um, Bambi. Never actually seen, um, seen Bambi. I don't know about you guys. Um, but yes, um, so my mind keeps, I don't know why, but every time I go on, I sort of YouTube.
change to that and then SS Rapids, like yours XX, SS XX Rapids, um, but I multiply I, so make you uh, take the, uh, <laughs> take the piss, uh, we we'll call it Rapids. Shane, thank you, mate. That's uh, that's really, I uh, uh, really appreciate that, mate. Thank you very much. And uh, how's uh, how's uni going? Hope it's going well. Uh, are you Eva? How are you? Um, and how how is everybody? I've got a, um, I've got a lot of random stuff. You can't see it on the camera, but I've got a lot of random stuff assorted here for uh, for uh, for trigger roulette. One being a hairbrush. So I just, my mind just went blank there. Resident Evil 4 remake. Yes, that's coming out. That looks really cool as well. Um, I never played it on the GameCube because when I was out, the GameCube was the big console. Uh, for me, um, it just, um, oh, I was just too young. I was, when I was playing on the GameCube, I was from about four to eight. Two to six, no, two to six. I was playing on the GameCube, then moved to the Xbox 360. Was I? Maybe I was seven when I got the when we got the 360. I remember Dad got it. Um, I'm coming home from school and it, and it was primary school. Um, and he had like the Oblivion. He was playing Oblivion, and we were um, yeah, the start in Oblivion when you're in the uh, the dungeon and you're trying to get out, and there were these skeletons. Uh, you had to fight in these giant rats. Uh, very cool. Um, hey, well, mine uh, sounds all as well as well, absolutely. Um, uh, and at the end of the day, um, that's the uh, main thing about uni, isn't it? Finding uh, a job. Um, yeah, if you find one by not necessarily uh, completing it, yeah, who cares? You know, sort of uh, just, uh, just shortcutted it. So, nice one, man. Um, massive. Massive prompts too, yeah. Um, Leon with the question. Um, gonna be doing actually gonna be doing a um if any members listening, gonna be doing a members QA next month as well. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but uh, Leon with a cracking question. You can check the link in the description if it interests you. Uh, uh, I hope the uh, that you know the intro slide on the video with the member shout out. I hope that's um just generally like uh, not jarring um, it's quite relaxing it was intended to be like a little uh, nice um, addition um, but Leon says um, do you do YouTube part-time and how much time does it take you in a week to produce the videos uh, so yeah YouTube is a uh, sort of a part-time gig hobby um, here on the you know, here on the channel so over the years it's ranged in terms of how much time it takes um i used to used to upload at the very start i would do videos like every seven to seven to ten days um and then um i'll go through periods where maybe doing once a month but now uh, we've got a far more regular schedule uploading on wednesdays and sundays and then outside of that we do um bi-weekly uh, bi-weekly streams uh, on a Saturday night and then I'm um, trying to pick up the, the YouTube shorts side of things um, as well as um, uh, sort of members videos oh, massive thank you Louis uh, I don't want to butcher the surname uh, Louis Tlatelpa 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 oh, I'm just sort of Twisting my dong there, uh, but massive thank you, Louis, there for the super sticker. Uh, very cool. At first, I thought he was sort of um, 
uh, knocking one out. Um, but it's a very jazzy dinosaur. And you are this evening's first um, trigger roulette. So, Louis, come on down. Louis makes his way down to the stage. He's nervous. He sees a big wheel. A big opportunity. What trigger is it going to be? He raises a glass. He has a quick swig. The crowd waits with bated breath. Louis, this is your moment. Are you ready? Three, two, spin the wheel. Okay. Airbrush. Um, f uh, funny that. It's the airbrush. Oh, well, glad, Louis, I'm glad. Um, I'm not going to try it again just in case I then get it wrong. Massive, massive thank you to Louis there for the airbrush trigger roulette. Well played, sir. A mass effect. Hey, good to see you, mass effect, my friend. Funny enough, we were just talking about mass effect. Um, and uh, sort of mass effect 2 versus mass effect 1, and then obviously mass effect 3. We had the comment that uh, Andromeda was actually a uh, load of dog crap. Um, I actually never really played uh, much of the um, much of Andromeda. Uh, I think I played the first half an hour. Um, you know, where you get the cutscene where it's you're sort of on the ship flying into the system, into the atmosphere, it's, and it crashes. Uh, and then you then sort of exploring. It's like two of you. Um, just I just don't think it could be um, sort of Commander Shepard's. J Forecast. That's a cracking name, a very cool name. How's it going? It's going well, mate. I hope you're doing well. Oh, just a fantastic name. A big, big thank you there. How's it going? A very cool sticker. I know other stickers, they have a pretty, pretty damn jazzy, but a massive thank you for the super sticker there. And it means, you know, it's like buses all at once. We've got DJ Forecast coming onto the stage. Louis fantastic first initial spin takes his seat dj forecast comes on to a a nervous applause because we don't know what's coming comes on to the stage he's like the crowd's been warmed up it's ready looks at the rope and he looks at the wheel and what it could be the fate of everyone's ears rests on this spin. Silence. You could hear a pin drop. Someone actually dropped a pin. With that aside, gets ready and we spin the wheel. Hand sounds. Okay, DJ forecast. Hand sounds it is.
mass effect that is. That is a controversial opinion. Uh, it, it's mental. Uh, I have seen the Brothers Grimsby. And it was, uh, it was enjoyable as Sasha Baron Cohen movies go. Really enjoyed him in um, Les Mis. Maybe 
six, seven years. Um, just very sugary. Um, unless you had a turbo shandy, which is, I think, a turbo shandy is a pint with half a pint. It's half a pint and a, then with a VK um, or a Vardy bomb, which is a blue wicked and a Jaeger. Um, Elon. Hello there. Hello there, cowboy. Uh, what movie are you most excited for in 2023? Oh, Oppenheimer. Um, I've not seen too much of Oppenheimer. That's uh, Christopher Nolan's latest movie. Um, it looks pretty good. I do enjoy Christopher Nolan movies. Um, uh, I don't actually know what's coming out. So I really enjoyed Avatar too. Um, but there's no other sort of movies coming out of much note that I'm particularly sort of clocked about. So yeah, I wouldn't be able to say, but a big welcome to everybody who's new and joined the stream. If you are new, please consider hitting that like button. We are on 52 like Roonies, uh, which is fantastic. If we can get to 60, I'll uh, chop the rest of my pints and we'll get the next one. Um, and what we can actually do, we can actually let you decide what you want us to try next, because there's one that I'm looking forward to doing, uh, and there's one that I'm not looking forward to doing. And you'll you'll see why. Um, but yeah, we need we need well, we need five more likes, uh, and then we'll we'll do a bit of a chop. Um, God, I remember the phrase chop, chip chop, chip chop. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Uh, this is what happens. I just talk absolute shit, and then I just uh, forget. Um, but yeah, no, no movies of late. Um, that have really sort of caught my attention. Rick and Mortar, Mortar and Rick and Mortar and like it, Jazzy Day. Uh, not much for Trick is having a cuppa instead. Fantastic. That is a great shout here on the ASMR show live. Um, yeah, you don't have to be vibing with a, an alcoholic beverage yourself. Uh, yeah, a nice hot drink. Uh, maybe a, a Horlicks. cup of tea the question is what what tea bag are you uh, are you using uh, megan is a m must watch imo i've seen oh i've seen the sort of trailer for that the one with like the the cyborg the, the cyborg person isn't it um um it's kind of like kind of reminds me of that film orphan that came out years ago they did a sequel to orphan didn't they i don't I, i've not seen it but i saw uh, I remember in, I feel like everyone does it, like, you know, in like 12, 13, 14, just went for an horror movie phase. Um, I remember watching the Saw movies, and um, I remember the film uh, Strangers. Uh, that scared the living crap out of me. Uh, that was like bloody, oh, Jesus. Um, like that, because it's like a home invasion movie, and it sort of spooked me for a whole summer. I had to... Sort of all summer, I stayed up until the the sun rose. So every uh, um, every night, I was up until like four a.m. and then I felt sort of safe to um, to go to sleep, which was uh, a bit random. Um, but yeah, very very uh, spooky. Um, good evening, Danny. Hope you're well, my friend. Um, I'm trying to think of um, in Alan Partridge. What's a lady? Is it, is it a pint of Guinness? Is it a gin and tonic and a shot of tequila? I think that's, I think that's a lady boy. Any albums coming out? Um, again, I must sound really bloody boring. Although I've actually always been like this. Um, not boring, well hopefully not boring. I could be. Um, I've really been big into albums. You know, if you ask me what my favourite album is, I'd probably say the best of the Beatles. Uh, actually, um, ironically, um, on, a, on, a, on a partridge bar, um, I remember at school being asked what my favourite album was, and uh, I actually said uh, Curtain Call by M80. 
Eminem, which ironically is like the best hits of Eminem, so that was quite amusing, uh, but it was, um, but no, not sure, A hey, Ryusaki, Ryusaki has just subscribed, not sure if uh, Ryusaki is uh, on the stream, but um, welcome aboard. Um, coming out this this year so um, everyone's kicking off about um, Sam Smith's uh, new uh, Sam Smith's new music video and it is a bit uh, a bit gauche isn't it um, do I have Disney Plus yes I do have Disney Plus well actually I use, I use my sister's and a fiance's Disney Plus uh, you know, sharing is caring oh Duncan massive thank you for the super chat there my friend Thank you very much. I need to keep, I keep getting my thumbs wrong, Duncan. Um, Duncan, are you excited? I think you should be excited. Um, because we are going to, we're going to spin the wheel, Duncan. We're going to spin the wheel for you. You're excited. I'm excited. We're all excited. What trigger is it going to be? Let's spin. It's a close-up whisper. Yeah, it's a close-up whisper. With the close-up whispers. Mass Effect, what's your opinion on Amy Winehouse? I've not seen the new movie. They seem to be going a bit overboard with the sort of like musical biopics. Yeah, they've got like a Whitney Houston one coming out, haven't they? I might wait till that comes out on Netflix and uh, enjoy it in the bath. Um, but Amy Winehouse, uh, quite like Amy Winehouse. Um, but no, I've not. I've not seen the movie on why people would be kicking up a fuss. I always just think it's a bit. Depends what the sort of uh, reason is. It's like the obviously. I think oh, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody was uh, a brilliant movie. Um, but then they did the they did the unofficial David Bowie movie, and they couldn't license any of the mu- uh, the music. And I was like, well, what's the bloody point? And then you get Elvis, which I've not seen, but apparently that's really good. So it sort of depends how you do it. But it's, it seems to be a new genre that they're they're really milking, and I don't really know why. Thomas, 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 Thomas. Thomas, great to see you. Um, can you do a Lord Sugar the Apprentice board for him role play? You're fired. Uh, you're fired, you gammon. Uh, stop working from home. You're fired. Um, there you go. Um, I can stretch that into 20 minutes if, if needs be. Do need to do a, a work on, uh, do some more role plays. So there's going to be one involving a flat cap. Got a bloody no idea. How that's how that's gonna work, but we'll um, we'll sort of uh, oh, we'll we will see 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 we will we will we will we will. I got a bit of fur. Toby, 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 Toby. We were just gonna go on to the next bite. Thank you very much for the super chat there, my friend. Thank you kindly. You got the Willy Wonka gif uh, because that perfectly exemplifies benefit fraud, uh, which is a blight on uh, the public treasury. And Uncle Joe, Grandpa Joe, encapsulates it. Um, Toby, Dubai, are you ready to spin the wheel? Spin the wheel.
the menu on Disney Plus. That was really good. Um, it's got Voldemort in it, which is pretty epic. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks uh, DJ Forecast. Um, oh, Toby, Toby. To be or not to buy, that is the question. Uh, to be, thank you very much again. Again, just reaffirming the Uncle Joe. I think really appreciate it, Toby because the more people realise that um, Charlie shouldn't actually have won, I think the better. But Toby, you're you're spinning that wheel again. Three, two, one. And it's hand sounds. It's hand sounds. Toby with hand sounds. First one, I think would be Jeff Music Man ASMR. I just watch his content all the bloody time. He's just such an interesting bloke. Uh, really brilliant videos. Um, so I'd go with that for the first. Do I want to go for second? Maybe I want to go Dido ASMR second. But I don't know. I don't actually watch too many, uh, too many other people's ASMR videos. I don't know about you guys. You kind of get like a favourite and you just, whoosh, uh, just watch them. Um, Danny, you watched the Zootopia last night. I was sceptical, but a quality film. Standards. I don't know what our standards are, but 
so it's kind of an irrelevant. Well, this is a smooth session beer driven with Amarillo hops, bringing flavors of tropical fruits rounded with distinct notes of soft lemon, bright zesty orange, leaving you racing for the next sip. Um, well, I'm not going to have slander for Turkish light. It, it's a fantastic snack on its own. Um, what are we going with, guys? Let me know in the chat. We are free likes. Um, actually, we're six likes away from 70 likes. So if we can get to 70 likes within uh, 30 seconds, uh, we will do the, the Turkish Turkish light box. I think people are hammering. Uh, Philip is keen on it. Um, and I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone so far. This has been really bloody brilliant. Good fun. Around 69 likes. Lol. Um, big thanks to everyone who's gotten involved in the chat. Uh, members and obviously yeah, the super stickers and super chats for spinning the wheel. Really, really is having uh, yeah, a brilliant time. And really appreciate you spending your Saturday evening with me. Um, means, uh, means a really bloody lot. Um, uh, I'm good to see you. Okay, right. Uh, looks like it's Turkish delight. This may make me sick, but burnt uh, at six point seven percent, quite strong as well. Um, I've not watched success, Succession, but I've heard good things. Um, to buy it does. tastes like they fermented urine with rose petals. that we've got are um, far tastier so I um, look forward to that uh, in the old streams we would do a chug challenge pardon me that's incredibly rude apologies for that we'll do a chug challenge but we're now too mature for that Toby 
to be or not to buy. Ow. A massive, a massive thank you. A massive thank you, Toby, for the super chat there. You are on fire with a fantastic sticker. GG, which is a gamer slang for good game. Or good going. Spin your wheel um, as well. Oh no, what's going on? I might as well call it Toby's wheel. So ready, three, two, one. A close up whisper. We've got a close up whisper. I appreciate the support in the chat of Matsonda, um, but there's no chance you can pour away a perfectly good drink, even if that drink is absolute torrid. And it makes your taste buds shrivel, um, which is an interesting visual that I never thought I'd imagine. You know, your taste buds shriveling. Um, yeah, that's bizarre. Let's, let's have a close-up sip. It's actually not too bad. It's... I think that it's kind of got a Turkish delight taste, but only in the sense that they've just basically poured like a litre of rose water into it, that's kind of like the overarching flavour taste, it's just rose water, um, you kind of, uh, you kind of lose the, um, you kind of lose the, 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 lose the stoutness of it, the stoutness of it, the stoutness, 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 oh no, it's a bit close, a bit close, um, I know we're friendly, but that might be a bit To buy, I think so. Um, oh, thank God. Right, so this one is actually in date because the last one, the, the, the beer that we had before went out of date, goes out of date tomorrow in about 34 minutes. This beer is out of date. And given the flavour profile of turd that is this beer, it was questionable about whether or not when it would end, but goes out on goes out on New Year's Eve. Um, New Year's Eve. Uh, Turkish Delight though is actually very good, funnily enough. I've got a box of Turkish Delight right here. Ship 
Shippamo for Philip and Shippamo for the bloody fantastic. Um, what's your chocolate preference out of Cadbury, Lint, Galaxy, Milka, Aero? <sighs> Some really good shouts. Um, interesting, not included Maltese, but I suppose I don't know whether you'd view that as a biscuit because of the Maltese element. See, I don't think of it as a biscuit. I see it as a chocolate bar, not a biscuit, but interesting. I would go from worst to best. From worst to best, I would go...
magic stars. Luke. I feel a bit silly if I were you. Come on, that's a classic confectionery blunder. Milky bar is quality in smaller doses. Yeah. Milky bar are oh, probably the only chocolate which I would accept um, in the fun size versions. Is actually a fun size. The rest it's a gimmick, you know, a Mars bar in a fun size. Piss off, give me it. Um, give me the full size. Um, $15 for a sandwich, even when I was in New York, it wasn't that expensive. What can I say? What can I say? And then you've got the tipping as well, and uh, just, just personally, the uh, sort of the tipping culture drives me absolutely bananas. Like, I completely get it why you have to do it when you when you're over there but i just think it's fundamentally wrong that customers are essentially paying the wages of the waiting staff uh, oh woody woody hewitt's a top g thank you i'm woody very much appreciate it my friend very generous super chat there you can see uh, grandpa joe he wouldn't be paying 15 dollars for for a sandwich, um, the bloody benefit fraud. Um, but thank you very much, mate. Top G. That's the first time I've been called a top G. Um, I'm just glad my uh, sort of alpha chat vibes are coming across. But now, now, what did we get to spin the wheel? I don't know what you're expecting. Nervousness. There's been some cracking spins so far. Um, just want to say a cheers. Tesco moving their club card meal 
November or December, one of the streams. May we delve into it deep? Yes, they have moved their prices. It's it's bordering on Nuremberg trials. It's, it's war crime territory. That's all I can say. It's absolute bullshit. It's still quite good, though. The Club Guard is a fantastic initiative. I prefer it to Nectar Points. We've got a Nectar card as well. Adulting. Um, you know, you can get a pack of 12 bites. Oh, chocolate bar, 12. What we should do, Danny, um, if you've got time to do this, um, ranking each chocolate bar, but taking one chocolate company and then breaking it down into their different bars within it. So take your Cadbury, you've got your Flake, you've got your Twirl, you've got your... You've got your caramel dairy milk bar. Obviously, you could then get a bit mental and go Oreo and all that stuff, but something we can look into. The best meal deal. So that actually is um, a video I think will be coming up for the members of the channel. I think we did a members meal deal ranking video. So I don't want to give too much away, but we are going to be doing a definitive meal deal ranking. Um, after we did the M&S meal deal video. Now, technically, technically, that was cheating um, because it's not actually a meal deal. Or I didn't procure it at a, a meal deal price. Which, you know. But, um, but if you've seen any of the videos, you'll know. You'll know where I'll lean to on the meal deal. But, yeah, a good evening to everybody and welcome. Um, oh, no, why is that doing that? Oh, okay, sound. Uh, a good evening, everybody, and welcome to There's My Show. Um, There's My Show Live. If you are new to stream, please consider um, sort of turning your phone or device vertically and just massaging that Massaging the old Philip Sasate. Ah, Sasate, Sasate. No, I got it right last stream. Sasate, Sasate. Philip, massive thank you for the super chat there, my friend. Thank you very much indeed. Let's spin the wheel. Let's spin that wheel. Okay. Mic scratching. Awesome. Let's do some mic scratching. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know how well the airbrush picks it up. How much it picks it up. Picks it up, picks it up, picks it up. Picks it up, picks it up. Uh, but yeah, take all that. Oh, Toby, Toby. Thank you so much as well, Toby. We're gonna spin your wheel. I need a pen. sadly. What is a yob? Do you mean like a yob? Um, so like a chav or a, a general uh, sort of youth delinquent. Plenty of those everywhere because there's not enough schemes. Okay, a bit of mic scratching there. And while we're mic scratching, Toby is back on down to spin the wheel. He's on absolutely
that's actually a fantastic shout. Yeah, if you can find one, shoot me a link and we'll do a video on it. Hi, Patricia Junker. Junker. Good to see you. If you rub your hands fast enough, you can start fire. Oh, Kitch. Yeah, I think everyone's just really keen to see the, the fraud of that is now. Uh, Joe from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, or technically it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but Johnny Depp's one with the Umbalumpers, where it's actually only one Umbalumpa, but they've just uh, CGI'd him. Kaja, thank you so much for that super chill, my friend. That is awesome of you on this Saturday night. A bit of hand sounds, but with some clicking, we are going to spin your wheel. And then I'm going to have to nip to the loo. <laughs> throw up this drink. Oh, well, nice, sir. Got a fantastic um, bouquet of flavour. Okay. Oh, oh, where is it? Okay, Kitch. Sorry, it's just rank. Let's spin your wheel, my friend. Are you ready? It's Saturday night and you're feeling all right. Spin. Okay, we're going to spin it again. Kitch, unless you really want hand sounds, just because we've had it before. Um, so we'll spin it again. Uh, unless you would like hand sounds, in which case we could do hand sounds, but I'll spin it. And you can let me know if you would like hand sounds. Or close up whisper. We'll go a close up whisper unless you want hand sounds. Um, and we can make the make the move. So this is a close up whisper. Um, yeah. I actually really do need the loo. Yeah. I think it's that stout. I just. I don't know what it is about stouts. And I don't know if it's because it's just so dark. And it just sort of reminds me of like a glass of Coca Cola. Do you ever sort of have that where like a food or, or, or a drink, the way it looks, it's sort of in your mind, you have this idea of what you expect it to taste like, for example, that style, it kind of looks like Coca-Cola, so your mind might be thinking, oh, you can have something sweet and then ba -bow. liquefied turd, um, but do you ever have that where it's, it's like this disparate, um, sort of cognitive, cognizant, Dissonance, cogni co cognitant. Is it cognitant dissonance? Why is it the phrase? Hold on, I'm going to be stopping it. Cognizant. Co cognitive, cognitive, cognitive dissonance. Okay, well, it's clearly gone to my head. Uh, cognitive dissonance between you know what you think it will taste like and then what it actually, what it actually does taste like. I just think they've just 
just stuck a load of rose water in it and I think that's just a bit of a cop out really you're not really getting the chocolate notes through um, it's <sighs> hatred good to see you <laughs> do you still work in marketing I do still work in marketing yes um, and if I um, but I've got the integrity that if I'd created that that product I would yeah, find a new career I would commit professional seppuku Henry VIII would probably drive a, a classic Range Rover, um, sort of like a, a forest green, like uh, right green sleeves whilst in it. Uh, Gandhi in a Prius is a fantastic shout actually, that's uh, very good. Uh, Zach, nice work on that one. Um, yes, I have unmuted the microphone. Um, made that mistake last time. Chicken or going wrong with some gammon or duck goose if you're a wealthy Victorian. Um, right, I think uh, on a Sunday roast, uh, whilst I love turkey, gobble gobble, um, I think your, your traditional meats are your, your chicken, lamb, beef, and ham. If you went to someone's house and they served you duck on a, on a Sunday roast, just just presume there's going to be a wicker man in their garden and you're getting in it um, run for the hills um, uh, uh, um, have you played Death Stranding? I've not played Death Stranding uh, with Norman Reedus I just kind of want my, I just want my hair to sort of stay up. Um, I'm gonna go. 
this massive thank you to you know, to all anyone else, everyone uh, members of the channel um, people who have just you know left a little like really appreciate it obviously the super chat super stickers and the chat roulette not chat roulette uh, trigger roulette you know massive massively appreciated and um, you know the absolute highlight of my uh, of my week hanging out with you guys really is a, a pleasure and, uh, and a privilege so I hope you're having a, a lovely Saturday evening uh, if you're just chilling um, you know whether you're working or studying or you know just chilling you know like say have this on your phone have a have a, a brewski or a cup of tea in one hand and just you know, enjoy enjoy your, your evening um, and uh, yeah hanging out really really awesome I feel like but I shouldn't be. Um, yes, Danny, worth watching. Cracking show, Chris D. Chris D. Chris, Chris, Chris D. Um, how's it going, Ben? About to take a nap. Glad to see the stream. Well, I hope you have a, a great nap, my friend. I've been well, thank you. I've been all good. It's been a quiet weekend so far. Um, like I said, we'll have some food yesterday and some drinks, uh, which is very nice. On a little pub crawl uh, across uh, Manchester, um, which was uh, your great fun. Had some bow buns, bloody ruddy love bow buns. Bow buns are best. Um, in terms of the uh, the tipple, um, I think we're for a oh, Toby, Toby, to buy to boo. Uh, Toby, thank you very much, mate. Oh, Toby, I'm starting to think you've got a crush on. Grandpa Joe, um, but thank you very much. Very cool sticker. I've got some, some. I've got some shades that I wear. We went um, went on a trip out a couple of weekends ago, and it was really bright uh, but icy out. And the missus was like, "Oh, why don't you bring your your shades?" And I'm like, "It just looks ironic." spin the wheel. <laughs> intro, nice one, we've not done the intro, fantastic spin. Woody, Woody Hewitt said the 10th Doctor is the best Doctor. That's, that's um, brilliant. Is there a Doctor Who conversation though? Because I would like to get involved in a Doctor Who conversation if there is. Or would he you just sort of making the statement that the Tenth Doctor is the best? Which again, if it is out of the blue, that's what makes that brilliant. But is the Tenth Doctor Tennant, Smith, or Eccleston? It's it's Tennant. If it's Tennant, then yes, you are correct. Hey guys, oh bloody hell, Leighton. Hey Leighton, thank you very much for the super chat. There, you are right, Benjamin. I am good. Oh, I'm brilliant, Frank. Just writing down later. Because we'll spin your wheel. But we've got to be to buy to booze. To be to buy to booze. Uh, with the intro. And uh, the intro as it goes is a. John, uh, Ben looking kind of succulent today. <laughs> That's a strange guy. <laughs> oh, it's just such a fun word as well. <laughs> Peter Thompson. Peter Thompson of Longtown. How's it going, mate? Probably shouldn't say that, but 
massive thank you. It's always it's always good to see you, mate. Anyway, um, so massive thank you. Well, let's spin your wheel. Let's rock. Let's spin the wheel. I think I know what the problem is. That's six point seven percent, which is basically like it's a strong lager or a weak wine. But I've had a pint. Um, yeah, wild. Luden, no, let's spin the wheel. And you've got the outro. And so the outro actually kind of differs. Video, the video on what the outro is going to be. But typically, it is. Have yourself.
whereas like, I always have to just check that um, it's, you know, not asking you to say something profane. But yeah, no, happy birthday to Sonny Walsh, actually. No, sometimes what they can do is, it actually turns out to be like, you know, a serial killer. Yeah, they'll say, oh, can you say happy birthday to Ralph Moat? And you're like, oh, cry. Uh, so I'm just doing a bit of due diligence. Um, sound okay, never came up. In that case, a massive happy birthday to, uh, to your little brother, Sonny Walsh, mate. There's now a Starbucks. Peter, this is wild. It's a legitimately a Starbucks. Toby, we need to spin your wheel. Spin your wheel. Close up whisper. Result. Uh, close up whispers are cracking, if I do say so myself. We've got, I'll tell you what we've got coming up on the channel next month is a close up whisper with some fireplace sound. So I know we did that video with the the rain, the rain, the raindrops, raindrops pouring on an open fire. But we're going to do some fireplace sounds, and I think you imagine you have this sort of binaural close up affair. But with, uh, but with some fire crackling as if you're in an old country cottage, you've just stuck a few logs on the fire, and the embers are starting to crackle and pop as the flames sort of tickle. Chimney, the chimney crest. Um, Peter, how was Centre Parks in Perif? Big fan of Centre Parks in Perif. I uh, used to go there quite a bit on a sort of family holidays. Uh, the canyon. Uh, the canyon slide is epic. Um, and also the rapids. The rapids and the wave machine. Santa Parks for um, I think it's for my dad's birthday. Yeah, it's for for my dad's birthday. And earlier. 
dollars uh, and it was quite a cramped parking spot situation where I was reversing um, so if you imagine okay so there's a car here so imagine okay imagine right so there's a car here and there's, and there's a car here and then I was and I was here I was one of the front notes of this my car and there was a car here and a car there and I was reversing and my dad was sort of waving me off because I was reversing and his car was right next to mine as I was reversing and it was waving at me as I was reversing and I was really close to his car but I thought it's fine not heard and it's on reversing out and he's waving at me and then I suddenly clock against both doors on his black car is a white scratch just stop the car my dad's still waving at me but then he suddenly looks at me wondering why I've stopped and I'm just looking at the car doors thinking shit so my face suddenly just drops like I've just booted the family dog you know in front of my gran and then he comes round scratch down it so I lock my doors obviously he's very angry he um, yeah he could drive at 17 um, 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 he was so angry he kicked the sort of front radiator off the car he then regretted because my first car he actually sort of you know paid for um, so he's actually just actually then he's just further damaged his car collection um, but yeah so I basically scratched my dad's car and we were then that day that afternoon all going to Centre Park staying in a, a small little a sort of holiday home to have a nice family weekend for his birthday oh Jesus Christ it was uh, tense to say the least but we weren't bowling uh, we weren't bowling it's like in the Centre Park St Ben Yes, yes. 
Well, we are now 16 minutes past 12 on uh, Sunday morning. So, funnily enough, this beer, uh, the Mallard, male duck in French, uh, is actually uh, out of date now, or it's uh, it's it's on the precipice. Seen 69, nice. Um, but do enjoy. 
should watch more. Um, uh, it's 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 epic, Peter. Definitely worth a watch. Have you ever watched the movie Snatch? Uh, I've not. I don't think I've watched the movie Snatch. Let me let me have a quick Google. Three uh, groups of people comprising boxing uh, promoters, amateur fees, and violent bookmakers try to get hold of an exquisite silver diamond that's worth millions of dollars. It sounds just like a cracking, uh, oh, it's got Brad Pitt, that's the one, it's, in. it's also got the bloke, um, uh, yeah, the Scouse lad, he's in loads, um, yeah, no, very cool, um, Uzi is here, good to see you, favourite, favourite Call of Duty map, oh, well, these are the questions, favorite Call of Duty map over the years. Crash was always really good. I thought World at War, you know, I actually think World at War has some of the best maps. Uh, I thought Castle, Castle was brilliant at World at War. That was such an epic map. Um, obviously Nuketown is a classic from Black Ops. Shipment from Modern Warfare. Um, it's also very good. You'll see The Departed. <clears throat> Epic. Death Proof by Tarantino. We'll have to add it to the list. We'll have to do like a movie, movie video. Um, I've not done a, uh, a movie video. Um, I'm just looking out in the bottom. Bottom right, Toby and Layton. Uh, rocking it, rocking it out. Um,
You then had Kino de Totin uh, on Black Ops, which is fantastic, and that's where you got the pack a bunch and the the teleport, and you also brought in like the, the zombie dogs. Who did that come in on? I just think that came in on Gino Numa. Could be wrong. That was good. And you had like Moon in five Black Ops. Had some fantastic zombie maps. I actually think better than uh, number one than Wood at War because I think. was epic <coughs> um yeah video games on roleplay was the first video i saw on your channel oh cheers woody sensational uh it reminds me of that meme um, um hey from belgium sorry oh Leighton, are you gonna do any more ASMR lego building in the future quite possibly if I did, they might just uh, might wrap it up as like a members video because it didn't perform too well. Um, it also drove me bloody mental doing it because I kept dropping pieces and I just honestly internally scream uh, when doing it. Age of Empires 2, oh, remastered. That sounds good. Oh, Age of Empires 2 is an absolute cracker of a game. Uh, and it's to menace. I like that name. It's quite playful. Are you still into weightlifting? Not as much as I was, um, except carrying the weight of being an absolute lad. Um, still go to the gym. Just change. We just changed gyms actually recently. Um, it's a lot quieter. A lot, just a lot nicer. I feel like um, a big part of gym motivation is down to the gym you, you're at as well. Because if you go to a really popular crowded gym where you can never go onto any equipment, it probably kills the sort of uh, the, the motivation a bit because it's just more of a hassle and more of a faff. So I've gone back into it a little bit more. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, what three are we thinking of going down? Uh, Southampton. Well, I don't actually know, I think Southampton. I've not looked up Bournemouth still in and around it, but you look at the likes of Everton and West Ham, you're like, surely not. Um, <coughs> I think, uh, possibly Cranswick, I think. It's not out of the realms. I played the hell out of all the Zombies Chronicles maps when they came out for Black Ops 3. I really enjoyed 5, or the remastered map classified for Black Ops 4. See, I didn't actually play Black Ops 4. I find it mental that they made Black Ops 4. God, I went through a really bizarre phase where it's just like, stop doing sequels. Uh, the same thing happened with Assassin's Creed and Far Cry to an extent. It's just they got obsessed with annualization, so the quality just took a nosedive. Um, Woody, that is a good quote. Um, but yeah, what was the... was was classified? with uh, George uh, George Romero and you're on that weird island and it, you've just got George Romero with like a massive leggy sledgehammer <sighs> oh that leads me um, I am just going to nip the loom I am actually bursting for the loom but uh, I will be back I will be back
George Romero is a legend of pizza. Good shout. Um, City of the Dead um, is a fantastic movie. So is Diary of the Dead as well. Um, I just, yeah, Black Ops might blow them, but um, Black Ops 3 multiplayer was quite good. Uh, a lot of the, the jumping around and stuff. Um, we are we are five likes away from 100 likes. Uh, if so, if you are new to the stream, please consider just hitting that like button. That would be massively uh, appreciated. Just for 100 likes, it would be pretty jazzy. Um, but yeah, no, I did just want to say it again. It's, um, you know, it's half 12 on a Sunday morning on, well, Saturday evening for many of you. I just want to say a massive thank you for, you know, for stopping by and hanging out. Really am enjoying this, you know, conversation. I hope you are too. That's the main thing, really, you know. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just sat here chatting, um, absolute crap. Um, so if you have for you to, um, chill and hang out with me, it uh, means, uh, the absolute, uh, means the absolute world and a yeah, massive thank you for everyone getting involved in the chats you know, super chats the, the trigger roulette it's just uh, yeah it means uh, means an incredible deal and uh, yeah you're bloody brilliant um oh, oh beta is off to watch a tree again a fantastic walk uh, watch tree the bird a load of dead cows who had uh, that had foot and mouth so uh, but it's a cracking walk now a lot of turbine Enjoy, mate. There's, they've got that jet engine um, artifact you can go see as well, so that's good. But have a good one, mate. Any collapse? Uh, Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. I actually thought Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer was quite good. It's actually, I think Modern Warfare 3 was a good game. You had that Paris map, the Parisian map on the stairs, and you also had Infected. Uh, and you also had, that's when the Modern Warfare 3 was the first one with the was it Spec Ops, not Spec Ops, but. Like the survival round. Oh, I do know where Preston is indeed. <coughs> the home of you, Clan. Um, any collab with Jeffrey? No, not got any collabs planned. Collabs were really survival mode. That's it, yeah. Um, although, if you asked me what the best survival mode in a game franchise was, I would say, um, I would say Horde mode in Gears of War uh, 2, they just absolutely perfected it, they took it to a different level in uh, Gears of War 3, where you could sort of buy improvements and stuff, but the pure system of in Gears of War 2 is bloody brilliant, uh, yes, Addison, yes, oh god, that, that brings me back, mate, that brings me back, uh, I'm literally picturing a play with uh, one of my good friends, Sam, and just, yeah, being there. Absolute, um, absolute brilliant. Um, yeah, God, that takes us back. Have any of you guys seen Mulan 2? Out of interest. Um, the sequel to uh, the hit movie Mulan. I think that was one of those classic Disney where you get the weird Disney sequels where the full cast aren't on for it but they still do the sequel which I don't quite understand why oh oh that's nice oh Woody oh Woody my friend Trigger to Roulette let's get that wheel a spinning do you stream on Saturday evenings so not all Saturday evenings we tend to do bi-weekly 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 so um, every other every other weekend we try uh, we try and stream at um, 10 o'clock bloody hell 10 o'clock stream for a few hours and just sort of touch base with you guys and catch up it's one of my favorite mechanisms of the channel bloody love it see Voss has gifted uh, a membership to the program oh I didn't know I can change that I'll change that so it's a bit jazzy um, um, but 
but uh, you know, see false our good friend of the channel welcome uh, and a massive uh, thank you uh, for his very uh, kind generosity of gifting uh, a membership there woody let's spin your wheel z false good to see you mate a very nice thing to do indeed close up whisper some of these we just don't get like page of flipping some some streams woody it's a bit bizarre because you just get some of the triggers that just keep coming up up dumb and again like on this stream it's been there brushing the mic scratching the intro outro and the close up whispering there's not been any page tapping or page flipping or, or book tapping or anything like that or any water sounds there's a car sound honestly the people who put uh, sort of like the, the, the ridiculous exhaust on their cars uh, I think the technical term for it is a grade A bell end. Um, but that's just, that's just, that's just, that's just my thoughts and feelings on it. Especially because of the car. It's, it doesn't really matter what the car is, they just sort of stick it on it. You just like, you just sound like a complete dickhead. Like you go for a city centre. Like they'll probably rev it to go about 14 yards before the next traffic light, and it's just like. Ow. Um, like an absolute fool. An absolute fool. An absolute fool, I would say. Not top G behaviour. Ah, oh, but Zephos. <laughs> what, what a. What a guy. So, a big guy to Zephos and DX, OU, 4K, 4N. And Sonny Michael, good to see you. French 
as smooth as I should be, and it's very perfectly, it's perfectly pleasant, uh, to be honest, very, um, very much um, an easy, an easy going one. I really do like on Streamlabs how everything sort of updates, like other the C-Force gifted there. I, I didn't know it could actually do that, so that's really jazzy. Um, are we, hey, with it, with it over 100. On the strip, we hit 104 likes on the stream. That's really bloody wild. That's that's a bit a bit rogue. Uh, what do you think about Top G? Um, a bit mad, isn't it? I just, it's just one of those uh, mental sort of internet phenomena. Um, I just you just sort of chuckle at. Uh, it's very cool to the score. Sleep. I need to roll myself like a burrito. Sadly, uh, you gotta keep those heating, those heating bills down. Uh, they are costing an absolute fortune. Ah, uh, K12, Viva just subscribed. Welcome to the channel, Elite. Did you get the chance to see the trailer for the upcoming Assassin's Creed Mirage yet? I didn't actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look at that now. Uh, was it Assassin's Creed Mirage? Uh, Assassin's uh, Creed Mirage. Um, Assassin's Creed Mirage is an upcoming action adventure. It'll be the 13th. Yep. When's it? Where's it? What's it? Uh, that's to say, it's not going to be no. It's uh, it's a Mirage. Well, I'll go back to the original Assassin's Creed and the future more linear level design. Oh, okay, cool. That sounds good. Yeah, but when's it set? Is it set? Indeed, Dill. Oh, oh. God, fucking Ubisoft, why is your web design? Like, just, I just want to get to the article. Stop spamming me with, with cookies. What city are you in? In Kark. Cranswick, have a good evening, mate. Been an absolute pleasure. Corey, good to see you. Um, I am not abroad right now, no. Kieran heard any new conspiracy theories? Not at the moment, I suppose the latest ones are all the, um, I'll just see how COVID was, but then you've got Ancient Apocalypse, um, which I think um, have some very interesting theories. I don't want to do a ramble with a beer about them, but not had a, an opportunity yet. Uh, favorite car of all time, uh, probably a Mini Metro. Um, oh, Corey, good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Here. Um, ooh, waffles or pancakes? Which one is objectively better? Waffles or pancakes? So, Cat Returns and Porco Rosso, brilliant 
Ghibli films, but um, Spirited Away. Um, House Moving Castle is a brilliant movie. Um, and then also Princess Mononoke is also a fantastic film. So got uh, Nausicaa and the Valley of the Winds. Kieran, yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, they've uh, finally released the um, police um, cam footage about the uh, you know the Nancy Pelosi, Paul Pelosi stuff. <laughs> it's just so bloody weird. Was it like they opened the he opened the door to the police and he's just stood there with like a, a can in his hand? And Blokes there with a hammer, and then <laughs> the bloke just goes, Yeah, I'm just gonna start lobbing it with a hammer, and it's just bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Um, Star Wars, it's good. I need to watch more Star Wars. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, that Star Wars Let's Play. It was very, very enjoyable to film. It's a real test of our cooperative skills. It's Lego Star Wars. Um, oh, sorry, Corey. Uh, been having a couple of pale ales. And mash. And, uh, had a mallard, which is, uh, French for, uh, male duck. Um, and then a Turkish delight-based stout. Stout is quite a sweet dessert-like, um, drink, but it was, uh, essentially rancid um, but yeah no good evening good evening you are new to stream it it's currently 11 minutes to 1 in the morning um, the, the chat has been the what the, the kids would say pretty lit um, it's been really bloody fantastic we've had some fantastic gonna say some absolute fantastic uh, trigger let spins we've not had any sounds I didn't actually bring a water bottle uh, in case it was called upon but um, not not actually been um, required uh, required as of yet um, um, so the, uh, the video tomorrow is well you'll have to wait and see the thumbnails I've been having fun with thumbnails lately the iPhone has got a fantastic, a fantastic feature where you can sort of copy if you've got uh, an image that's got a person in or yeah, clearly discernible like object and she, like I imagine you could do it with a dog or a pet. And if you just uh, sort of hold on uh, that area, it will silhouette it and cut it out so you can quite easily and cleanly copy um, sort of yourself and put it on like a background. Previously, I was having to go into uh, some Premiere Pro and do individual masks, which would take forever. This is such a quick and clean way of making thumbnails and hopefully more engaging thumbnails. And uh, same thing with the video for tomorrow. Uh, I think it's going to be quite a fun video, quite a fun video, and hopefully quite a, an engaging video. Um, it's a uh, Sammy, I do not have a Twitch. No, um, I did look at. I think I've actually got an account on Twitch, but I've never, just never really enjoyed. Not, not enjoyed, but I just, I've always preferred keeping it things in one place. That's why with you know the members and the live streams, I've just keep it all in one place on YouTube for yeah, for for better or worse. Um, 
just never really gotten into into Twitch, and I actually think YouTube, the YouTube tree, the stream space will start to uh, overtake uh, overtake Twitch um, as just a, as an ecosystem. Oh, sunny, 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 sunny. A massive thank you, mate. A massive thank you. A lovely super sticker there with a thanks, and again, we're outing good old. Barjo, the, the greatest benefit fraud scam known to man. Uh, what was his reward? A confectionery factory. Un unbelievable. But a massive thank you, Sonny. So, wow, you're working, my friend. You've also come on down onto the stage and you're looking at the wheel, the trigger roulette wheel, and a lot of thoughts are running through your head. What trigger is it? Expectations, but with a blazing heart of courage, you grab the rope and you pull and spin the wheel. Book tapping, Sonny. Book tapping. We have not had that all evening. So a fantastic shout, Sonny. Massively appreciated, my friend. And we've got you some book tapping. Ooh. This is technically magazine tapping, but... Oh, Miss Sam, um, it's, uh, yeah, no problem at all. Um, really appreciate you taking the time to say hello now with Sonny's book tapping hey Miss Sam a massive massive thank you for checking us out Sonny I hope you're enjoying this book tapping it's technically like I say it's technically a magazine so if there are any people who are uh, yeah, specifically tied on medium Shouts out for Sonny for that trigger. I'm just gonna slide in at the top. I was trying to, I was trying to move it around a bit, but to, uh, but to no avail. It was, uh, yeah, struggling on me. Uh, oh, we are, we are two likes away from 110. Well, that's pretty close. Pretty close. I can almost, I can almost taste it. Sound so close, you can almost taste it. Um, do they still do the you know, now that's what I call you know, naughties, um, CDs? Um, now I remember having them in the car, um, growing up. You know, you'd have a yeah, bit of Maroon 5, and then you know, next minute, be key. Fratellis. Um, um, 
conspiracy video is always great just since when I was talking about the Rockefeller thing. I've not actually looked into the Rockefeller stuff too much. My Rockefeller knowledge is pretty rocky at best, so could be one. Stephen Evie, oh, good evening at the town staying up. Um, got about as much chance as the um, square root of LA. Chance of that happening. Chill weekend, but a busy week about work and a bit of school. <laughs> nice one, mate. Sounds uh, yeah, bit of, bit of time for a bit of R and R, bit of R and R, mate. Um, how is work and school going, man? Um, I know you for for so long. Absolutely mental, um, but fantastic. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope it's cool. I feel like January's been a bit of a full on start. I feel like Jan's usually well meant to be a bit of a quiet one. But it's been absolutely, uh, I feel like it's been an absolute grueler. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a, I hope you have a blessed weekend, mate, and have a, you know, really nice, a really nice time. Because um, you're currently back home, aren't you? Uh, after your adventures in the US of A. Um, Alex could could be something to look at, look at doing. With the across the videos done on the um, the channel now um, and on the members, um, I've sort of filmed it as a mobile place in the new uh, the new place. Could uh, think about doing a bit of a house tour. Um, yeah, potentially. Specialists in a certain type of content, and so they've got they they really own a niche. 
So, for like to say, uh, gentle whispering or your GPS, my yes, my darling. Um, or you might tingles or your raffy taffy there. They do quite a, a range of sort of my videos, but I feel like they appeal to a wide general audience. Um, and their content's brilliant and their production quality is really high. And then you've got the likes of if they're more Rift or Lloyd Esmar, where their sort of niche, their specialty. Oh, Sonny, thank you very much, mate, for the super sticker. Cool, you are a cool dude indeed, my friend. And we are going to spin your wheel. But you remember Sonny with a chance of that show? My guy. Um, but those guys have been more rift in your Lloyd's ASMR. I've got like really carved out a niche in sort of role plays and the production quality. Uh, you have Fred ASMR, brilliant ASMR planet. So those are incredible great videos. Where's the contents that we do? Um, or I, you know, on the channel. It's far more. I suppose it's smaller, lower key, but it's far more conversational. And the value, or what I really like, is chatting to you guys, really, and being quite, I say, personable, but just, you know, coming on and have a chat with, like, with you guys. It's not, like, and if it's relaxing, fantastic. Um, but it's all, like, more having a, uh, having a conversation. Uh, but Sonny... You're back and you're ready for another spin. Let's spin. Page flipping. I'll tell you what, Sonny, it's absolutely uncanny. Couldn't get any of these all evening. And then two for two, you've got some. You've got some cracking ones. The beverage of the night, Sonny. Which is French for male duck. Um, I've had a Turkish delight stout, which was crap. Um, and I'm onto this real ale now, it's quite nice. Up into a master's bucket, mate. Mats, love it, mate, love it. Keep the doors open. Like I say, you can always do a panic, a panic master's. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the phrase panic master's, but here in the UK, Panic Masters refers to if you're in your graduating year and you've not really got any jobs lined up and don't know what you want to do, do a Panic Masters. Oh, Eric has got a pizza secured. What pizza is it, Eric? Tell us of the pizza. Tell us, tell us, tell us the pizza. Hey, Brian Johnson. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, cheese, please. Cheese, please. Happy Saturday, Ben. God bless. God bless you, cheese. But you know, if we don't, God bless bloody Grand Barge over the benefit fraud. Cheese, please. Well, thank you very much, mate. That's an incredibly generous super chat. Thank you so, so very, very much. We had, we had a comment before asking about Mario Party on the GameCube. I'm trying to find the page. I will find it really need the ruddy bloody loo. But cheese, please. I have been that is the correct pronunciation, by the way. Mate, um, uh, I, th I think it is, but um, please correct me if I'm wrong. Lewis Clark, always good to see you, mate. You are not late to have right precisely when you mean to, just like cheese, please. <sighs> so we're going come on to spinning the wheel. Cheese, please, comes on down to the stage. Looks at the trigger roulette wheel and goes right. We've had some crackers so far. Some fan favourite. Where is it going to land now? The pressure's on. People are like, cheese, please, 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 cheese, please. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Cheese, please. The pressure of the whole 
enjoy, but anyway, Lewis, let's spin your wheel. Okay, book tapping. We're gonna mix it up. Okay. We've got some book, book, bookity, bookity, bookity tapping. Oh shit. Nate dropped the fast, Nate dropped it, nearly dropped it. Lewis, a fantastic spin. Self man, calm it, doin, noy. We've got book tapping for Lewis with a fantastic spin. Just gonna have a, have a sip. Can we do binaural? channel's membership mate and you've now got a very very chassis a very very chassis badge oh very warm welcome apologies you had to see doja cat king charles it's an unfortunate um selection but um yeah massive welcome mate you've now got access first of all your name is going to be on uh, the the shout out cards and you've got access to i think it's about uh, there's four exclusive videos on the channel now as well. We do one, one to two exclusives a month. Um, so, yeah, massive thank you, mate, and uh, welcome to the team, Lewis with the A. Uh, I did study marketing. Um, can't learn not off the top of my head. Um, Tassimo <laughs> and Dairy Milk. Can't go wrong with Dairy Milk. That is a fact. Dairy milk is a cracking chocolate. Very good indeed. Oh, it is. Um, oh, we are actually three likes away from 120 likes. So if you are, if you are new uh, to the stream and would like to, I don't know, just get a bit colourful and creative, then yeah, do feel free to tickle. Appreciate it. Hey Woody, honestly, mate, really, really do appreciate it. Um it's yeah, really glad. I'm uh, really glad you do uh do enjoy and uh, hope you with the membership. Uh you know, trying to work closely with everyone to really mould it and tailor it into something that something that you guys really want to see alongside the the main channel stuff. So really excited to you know work with you on it and hope you enjoy. Um AJ, my friend, that's all good. Um, good to see you, mate. Good to see you. How have you been? Hope you've been well. Oh, I hope, I, I hope you had a, a good crimbo new year. I feel like it's too late to say that. I, uh, I, texted, uh, I texted the plumber uh, today. Because uh, I needed to come. Uh, a man about a dog. Um, and I was like, Happy Christmas, New Year. It's like it's the 29th, well it's 28th, I was like, it feels like it's a little bit too late for that now, it's, I feel like, I 
are sending emails on the, like the 14th, 15th. There's like this feels like a grey area, but now it's certainly missed the boat. Uh, I do not write poems, no. Um, I've uh, yeah, not yet, but, uh, but uh, these those poetic thoughts to script. Uh, he's, uh, he's just yeah, get him in, mate. AJ, <laughs> get him in, just get get him in nice and early. Um, any interesting subplots? There was a cracking conversation about confectionery rankings. Uh, there was a good movie subplot. Meal deals came up again. Oh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, there have been there have been some good subplots. I would like to I would like to think. Um, have any of you watched Baptiste? By the way, strongly recommend watching Baptiste. Um, originally featured in the BBC crime series uh, Missing, of which there are two series. Uh, that's where the character Baptiste uh, originates. Um, oh, Guildford Nightlife, Lewis, that's it, oh Christ, yeah, on the last stream, um, the Guildford, uh, the Guildford Massive, um, Basingstoke, um, yeah, having spent a year down in Basingstoke, I uh, know about that area, um, oh, uh, nothing beats a, a fever, a fever night, So it's like a scene where he's 
there's an absolute crisis, uh, an epidemic in office workers. It's, you know, I'm getting nervous. I don't know how to answer them all. Um, oh, yeah. Um, no, but indeed. How are we? 120 likes and bloody cash back. Two new members. Three. Uh, Woody being one. Top lad, top lad. Um, let me just check.
Mozart, um, Pizza Express, I don't think that's over in America, Domino's, Papa John's, uh, Carl I've got Pizza Bravo, which is great. Uh, the Pizza Express in Woking is really good. Really like the Pizza Express in Woking. Seltzer is like 
so it's using sparkling water, triple distilled spirits and natural flavours to deliver a surge of pure refreshment like nothing you've ever tasted. White Claw Warrant Seltzer. This way over here, I shall have been. Have you seen my hairbrush? Now, George, I got permission before we had to come on. This is my first rodeo. I've never had a White Claw. Let me know what you think. I might have to give it a try. Well, I imagine it'll be like the... seltzer is hard. They got alcohol in it. That's so bizarre. So it's a bit, bit of a, a palate cleanse. 
fantastic console uh, and the games they actually made that fully utilised. So I'm thinking some BU. I'm thinking Nintendo. And Nintendo Land is actually ultimately the best. Big Boss, thank you very much for that chassis, chassis super sticker. Thank you so much, mate. A cheers to you, my friend. And let's spin your wheel. But I think Nintendo Land is possibly the best Nintendo party based game that's come out. Oh, but Big Boss. Oh, nice cup of coffee. I've got a coffee machine for Christmas and I've been making um, coffees. I've got a little foam frother and I've been attempting to make like foam art. It looks as if a, a sort of two year old never learned how to draw, but I'm getting there. Let's spin your wheel, big boss. And sounds. Ooh. A classic. A classic big boss, a big boss move. Metroid Prime. Oh, the game. Is a GameCube emulator? Is there? There's not a GameCube emulator on the Switch yet, is there? You know, I'd love to play Luigi's Mansion, Mario Party 4 and 5, Ocarina of Time, technically Nintendo 64 that I can play, um, Star Fox Adventure, Mario Party Superstar. So, we I went to a bar last year, which is like a gaming bar, and there was like four of us, and we hired any kind of a big to play on it. Switch or a or PlayStation or Xbox, we pick the Switch after we play Mario Party Superstars, and the mini games on that was really good. Mario Party took a really interesting turn when it moved away from the individual characters to your all in a and it happened on the Nintendo Switch uh, Wii U, where four of you are in together in a vehicle, and one of you plays as Bowser. Mate, Luigi's Mansion it used to scare the absolute shit out of me. Here's a story for you, Luigi's Mansion. So when I used to play out on the GameCube, I was about four, five, six. I used to always play with my with my sister. Uh, and Luigi's Mansion had a particularly scary opening sequence. It starts off with Luigi walking down a particularly scary forest where all the trees are full and you've got crows and he's got a map which leads to this mansion where Mario thought he was winning a mansion and he gets there and he starts looking around just with his torch but it's really quiet and the sounds are like uh, uh, uh. he goes upstairs into this pool room and that's when things go wrong suddenly start talking, saying you shouldn't have come here, do, 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 do. there goes a different portrait, there is no escape, do, 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 do. and then what happens is these ghosts all appear out of the portraits, and then suddenly Egad comes in and hoovers them all in, it's just bloody brilliant, um, but to be able to give me the confidence to be able to play, uh, my sister would sit next to me and start singing.
and you want to make uh, an updated game collection video, um, I will have to actually know, you know what I'm saying, I think I've played it, oh, is it Luigi's Mansion 2 I've played, I think I've played a bit of Luigi's Mansion 2 on the, um, the 3DS, but I've not played, I've not played, I've not played number 3.
chestnut. DJ Formalcast has summoned a large brisket barbecue sandwich with chips and a fat drink. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds really delicious. So a brisket barbecue sandwich, we don't really do brisket over here, but it's just sort of tenderized beef, isn't it? Um, and when you say chips, I presume you mean crisps, as opposed to say french fries, or what we'd call chips, or we'd have chunky chips. Uh, but yeah, chips as in crisps. That sounds a fantastic, fantastic meal, mate.
what you call a deer with no eyes. Um, they call a deer with no eyes. Eric, I like that. That's a good one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that to work on Monday. Good. Scarlet, Eric, what are you studying 
that's better. How much is uh, the dead space uh, uh, remake on the Xbox Series X? It's sixty-five quid. You are having a laugh. What's on the PS Five? Sixty pounds. Oh, piss off! I tell you what, they've taken the right liberty.
pronounce that correctly. Uh, have a good evening, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure uh, having you here. Oh, Galawan, glad you enjoyed the uh, the Lego video. So, uh, an interesting uh, campaign on the on the video front. Uh, certainly took uh, extreme levels of patience. Well, to be fair, I actually think like the Zelda HD remakes are are worth it. Perhaps that's just my bias towards them. I don't thought the Twilight Princess HD one was good. Uh, Wind Waker, to be fair, they did actually add new mechanics to it. Again, which is really good. Also, it looked stunning. Um, oh, random, appreciate it, mate. Well, I hope you enjoy. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a tricky. Legacy coming out. Oh, we're at 11 likes away from 150 likes. You absolute crazy. Cool cats and kittens. Um, I think with Hogwarts Legacy coming out, there's a fairly strong February release schedule. Um, I don't really know what's coming out in March. Yeah, very much. 
much enjoyed it. Uh, Benoit, Benoit Blanc. Um, I, I thought Knives Out was very good, and I thought this was a, another good adaptation. Hey, 510 Ghost Boy, cheers, cheers, uh, cheers from the northwest of England all the way to California. accent is so, oh, it's so annoying, uh, especially uh, watching the Bond films, uh, he's pretty sus, um, as you might, as you might say, um, but yeah, I thought it had a good, uh, Rings of Power is an interesting one, I've not seen the Critical Drinkers reviews, Rings of Power, I like a lot of it just, I think, just because I uh, love Lord of the Rings and more content within that universe. I enjoyed, there was far more VFX as opposed to CGI, which I thought was really good. A lot of the episodes were filler and bland and nothing really happened. I think the half-foots were good. The combat scenes were good. Any scenes with like the orcs and stuff were really good. Some weird editing decisions like when um, the Southlands turned into Mordor. It's like it's obvious it's turned into Mordor. The fact they did text, text to saying the Southlands and then it was Mordor. It's like bloody obvious. Um, yeah, the dialogue's pretty crap. Um, it's all a bit cringe, a little bit. The dialogue. So you're kind of being sustained on the the visual side. It visually is phenomenal, um, and the the story kind of um, keeping you going. But apart from that, it, it is kind of I don't know a little bit like a little bit boring, a little bit crap. Episode six is the only episode where you're like, oh yeah, that's that's brilliant. And that's out of um, um, one, two, three, four, eight episodes, like one episode out of eight, uh, good. You want to watch The Dark Crystal. Um, the Dark Crystal's really good. What's it called? Dark Crystal. Um, Age of Dark. Oh, psychic, thank you very much, mate. Let's hear your best of an accent before we go to bed in honor of Benoit Blanc. Oh, psychic, first of all, mate, thank you very much, and we will spin your trigger. I will spin your wheel uh, just in case we get a closer whisper while we do a southern accent. Oh, intro, you know, let's do. Let's do uh, the intro psychic in a southern accent. Hey guys, our DS is the IASMR Gamer, and welcome to this evening's video. I hope you all doing very, very well. For now, my name is franchise I think is um, very good um, I think um, yeah I think is it Rihanna Rihanna Johnson um, that does
does it and he was actually a bit annoyed that with Glass Onion that they actually said a nice out tail is how he wants it to be the mo their own stand standalone without it being sort of like a knives out franchise being the um like the base to it. Um but I hope you enjoy that psychic. <laughs> season two which really looking forward to um that's got orlando bloom and cara delavine in and it's got cancelled after two seasons which is a shame but really enjoyed uh season one and um peripheral peripheral um is really good as well uh that's got um what's her name chloe chloe grace moretz She was in. Oh shit, what do you call it? Uh, Warrior, I think he's like, we listen to the old XFM stuff. Um, what was. Um, oh, the bloke's got two samurai swords. And it's like a green and yellow costume.
stream. Uh, it's been an absolute ruddy bloody fantastic stream. We've had a few beverages which have been delightfully tasty. Very, very much enjoyed and I want to thank you all so much for keeping me company and getting involved in the chat, the chit chat and uh, yeah, just being all around fantastic, fantastic, uh, yeah, fantastic people. And I hope, uh, well, personally it's been Saturday evening, Sunday morning, and just have a little bit of a chit chat and catching up with you guys it really has been appreciated. And a massive thank you to everyone who's gotten involved, even if you've just watched uh, the stream, you know, left a little like or a comment. A uh, massive thank you to uh, all of you, uh, those who've uh, super chat, super stickers, and members of the channel. It really is just lovely. Um, yeah can say so I just want to say a massive massive thank you um, and on that I look absolutely shattered uh, and battered so uh, I'm going to go and uh, head, head for some seas and head for some sleep so have an absolute blast DJ forecast have a cracker uh, we'll live stream in a couple of weeks probably on the first weekend of um Weekend after next, so maybe mid 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 Feb. Um, so we'll have another one of these soon because they are just brilliant, good fun. But I will see you all uh, in the next video. Psychic. I'll see you on Sunday. So lots of love as always, my friends.